Hey, hey, yo, you mechanical maniacs. How's it going? Hers Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Rot to Rad. Where we go out to the junkyard, we find something rotten, we bring it back into our garage here at Quasar's Customs and build it into something radical. Um, well, if you may notice from the last episode, yes, I took the bolt cape out of here and relocated it to the parking garage and actually set the Dodge Charger Maximus out here. I just thought it looked nicer out here. Nice splash of red. It really looks good against the bug. And with the yellow uh, 57 Delray over here. Um, the bad man Delray. And then of course we have the GTX. And the Toretto. The Toretto T GTX right here. Um, so for our last episode. Um, you guys overwhelmingly liked this car. I was actually very surprised to see the reactions that I did for this car. But um, yeah for i mean everyone except for maybe one vote wanted me to save it so save it is right so we're going to take this bad boy we are going to send her parking area thank you very much all right another one in the parking lot um the last episode I introduced you to the finished tow truck it's done and i just i meant to take a look at this yeah 146. so i was going to start keeping my cars around um oh that's over in the barn bargains and the barn bargains i want to start keeping cars around that are less than uh, 150,000 miles so hopefully i'll have some more over there right now this is rot rad oh um yeah i do have one other thing um i am working on a few items you know i, I like this i like this uh uh Where's the first aid box is located under this poster on the left? It's actually on the right. <laughs> uh, nearest eye wash station is located on the left. Where is the eye wash station? If they're talking about that, that is not an eye wash station. So I was kind of cracking up when I saw that. Um, I don't see an eye wash station here. Uh, useful numbers, of course, 911. Um, I was looking at doing, uh, changing these banners around, but I'd really like the first, uh, the workplace first aid guide. Um, I did, however, take care of this calendar and I got myself a 2023 calendar, custom built by yours truly. And um, I think it looks pretty good in here. A little splash of orange in here really brightens up the area, I think. So yeah. All right, so what are we gonna do? Rot the red. What is it, Hurst? What are we doing? Well, we go into the junkyard, we take a look around, and we find something that is rotten, and we bring it back to the garage here at Quasar's Customs, and we build it into something radical, uh, much like those machines you saw out there. So a few rules I try to go by. One, uh, I have never built it before. Two, uh, under 150,000 miles. So. That is pretty much our rules, and uh, I think that's about it for right now. Let's go ahead and jump out into the junkyard, shall we? All right. What can we find out here in the dust bowl? We will, oh, looked over something. Um, let's see if we can find out here. Uh, nothing in here. There. Oh, the fury right there. Oh, we've got this Dusenberg thing. Um, so it's 171,000 miles. This is Duesenberg, what is it? Uh, Mormon Meteor. Um, actually, a really cool looking car, actually. Um, but yeah, it's 170,000 miles. Then we have the DeLorean, which is, I think this is the time machine. Yeah, this is a time machine. It's 189,000 miles. Um, the 115,000 miles. Ooh, okay, so this is kind of a custom, custom bad boy right there i i don't think we've done a bronco before uh at least not this particular uh we have a hot rod back here uh 192,000 miles not in the ballpark whatsoever uh christine yeah look at christine 196 it's a stock uh, we have done one we did one of these but it was was didn't have a uh, white top on it um, we did it in purple, I believe. I had some mixed reviews for sure. Right, over here we have, oh yeah, we've got the off-road El Camino for 133. Hmm, 
that might be interesting. Okay, 133. What was the other one? 33 of the Bronco. Um, you guys would kill me if I got the Bronco over the uh, over the El Camino. I know that for sure. Um, let's see here. Nothing else over here. Let's go over and take another look at this Bronco. You guys are going to kill me. It's a Ford. Now, I think it was 115 to 133, right? And my thing... Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Lotus. Okay, Lotus at 153. How did I pass that? Wow, I passed that up on my way over here. Um, didn't even see it. Um, okay, so our Bronco here is at 115. And the the 4x4 El Camino is actually uh, 133. So, yeah, it is the lowest card. That's my rules. That I always take the lowest card and one I haven't built yet. But let's take a quick look and see if I've built this yet. All right, so I've been looking at my files, and yes, I did the 302 Resto mod back on episode 12, and I do not see an El Camino in my uh, in my list whatsoever. So guess what? I believe the El Camino is going to win. So yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. I have not done the 4x4 version of it, and I hate the wheels that are on it. Yeah, this is going to be. Uh, okay, I can get uh, okay, 133,000 miles. Okay. Yeah. Um, factory color is tan. That is not going to happen. All right, got some dust and crap in it, but hey, we are going to buy it up and take it home. Go ahead and buy her. Yep, put her in the garage. And let's go home. All right, first thing to do, give it a bath. All right, she's in uh, some bad shape here it looks like that's all right that's what we're here for we usually take care of it clean it up and give it a good once over and before you know it we'll be good as new now what color am i gonna paint this bad boy uh it is cream so i am fond of the butternut yellow color as you may guess um No, really don't know. All right, let's go ahead and put her over on the left and let's start ripping her up down. Uh, first and foremost, let's see, is there a transmission attached to that? Yeah, go ahead and yank the transmission out. Now this thing's got a starter in it. Wow, that's interesting. Well, at least I don't have to drain the oil. That's a bonus. Oh, pan on that bad boy. All right, one of the other things I like doing with the Rotterad series too is to try to keep the engine block and crank. So if that's possible, that is what I would like to keep going here. Okay, make the here, and it's out. All right. Uh, now that we have that kind of taken care of, uh, let's get our welder over here. Go ahead and weld up. 500 bucks. That's not too bad to repair that. Uh, we'll repair that. I usually take care of some of this stuff. Like I take care of getting rid of body people. Um, don't need that. Frosted parts here. Kind of cool. That needs to be left door. That bumper. The light. All right. I think we've got her stripped down. Well, oh, we got two. All right. Uh, for the most part, I think we have all the pieces off of her we need. But I'm going to go ahead and get some body parts uh, right off the bat because I really want to. Two, three, front end, and door. Uh, let's see. We're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, search. There we go. And I need the other 
other vendor that I need. And yeah, let's go ahead and put these together a little bit just to see what we have here. Now, this is a 4x4. Four four. Look, ooh, look at that. It's got a massive hood thing on here. It's, I did not get doors, did I? That's okay. I don't necessarily need doors right away, but we will get them. Um, boom, trim. That's done. Uh, that's all I had on there for right now, right? Okay. I think that's all I've got. Is that all I got in my... Oh, no, no, no. That just... Right. And did I get this piece over here? here don't have it so what I need is <laughs> all right so be it done got it all right so we're on our way almost already to get bad boy shape look at the, the massive bumper this thing has and the hood just absolutely nuts all right so inside here Go ahead and rip out the fuse box. And then take a look to see what do we need in here? Oh, we need a lot of pieces. How are you guys doing? First video of 2023. How about that? I'm hoping this video is actually finding you guys happy and healthy. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, 2022 was one of those years you just wanted to say, you know what? <laughs> um, I'm done with it. <laughs> 22 is done. One and done with the, uh, with the, the 22, year 20, 2022, yeah? Um, so, I'm happy it's gone, to be quite honest with you. Um, here, see... Western Reservoir and battery. Go. Onyx. Now we have that. We'll go ahead and put this stuff in there. This is going to be a real quick, easy install with this stuff here. Right? And I need to fuse. Let's go ahead and. Box and slid. Uh. I always get like four of them and I you know as many times as I've rebuilt these things you would think I'd have this down to a science and I think I've got one got one less too many of the relays here yep that's what I thought I am a doofus oh well get another C here in a minute this all taken care of should be only one blue one in here. Yep, that's it. All right, so let's get one more, one more C. That in there, and then we'll be done with that. So, nice. Okay, so we've got the firewall, the engine area taken care of. We can actually sell off all. Of I don't need them. Thank you very much. Um, the engine. Let's go ahead and put her on the stand. All right, what's left of this bad boy here? Looking pretty, pretty horrible here. Let's see if we can this all take it apart fairly easy. Get rid of these parts. None of this, none of this I'm going to reuse, right? None of this is I'm going to reuse. I want to just buy all brand new parts. Honestly, I probably could repair all these parts, but most of them, the ones I want to replace primarily are going to be performance parts, and I'm, I don't really care. Keep them around. I'll just sell all this stuff and go from scratch. The rocker arm back there. Push that out. Oh, we got a spark plug or two in the place. 
but usually I take care of the rear end and then there's the engine. I figured I'd mix it up a little bit today. Um, considering I'm trying to, you know, keep things lively anyway. Uh, let's see here. You're out of here and you're out of there. Oh, you're connected. No, you're not. None of this stuff is going to be worthwhile. All this stuff is going to go bye-bye. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Got uh, a couple of rockers to take. Huh. Man, can you imagine working on an engine like this? I see, I watch so many videos where people are pulling these cars out of barns and junkyards and everything's all locked up. And they, for whatever reason, you know, they are able to get the thing running. It's amazing. I wish I had the the skills, one, and the money to do that kind of stuff. Like Chip Foos uh, just gives back, you know, to the community by rebuilding cars uh, for people who just necessarily can't. And they're, you know, they're um, got a lot of grid for the community. And that is awesome, right? I wish I had the capability of doing it. And the skill. Shop. Whole thing. Um, wish I had all that. Now, when I was younger, I thought I would be a chip foos. <laughs> that was one of those things. One of those dreams I had was either uh, being at like a chip foos or being a forest ranger. I did neither. <laughs> I did neither. Oh well. Funny how life does that to you. Yeah, I remember being in sixth grade. We were doing some sort of project, right? I was like, yeah, I, I, that's what I want to do. I want to be a first grader. That didn't work out. Uh, okay, so in crankshaft, yes, we can repair it. And we will. The block, yes. We're going to repair it. And that's all I care about, to be honest with you. Um, block for this build. Um, I think I'm going to keep it. Like, hang on. The single engine car supercharged. Put the supercharged version in it. <sighs> that means building it a brand new block, though. And I don't know if the hood will cover it. It might. Hmm. So yeah, that's one thing I thought about. Uh, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Alright. This is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go with the supercharged version. Yes, that means everything I've just done was for nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm going to sell everything. Um, I'm going to sell it all. Sell it all. Alrighty. So that means I have to go and I have to buy all brand new parts. So, um, with that in mind, let me start digging into here. I need to scoop. Now, I'm hoping this fits underneath the hood. That's all I have to say. Um, but, but it does have a big old air scoop on it, so it should work. It should, should work. Uh, do we have an overhead valve? Yeah, it's just cam gear here. Hmm, yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, camshaft we're going to get from the part from the um, tune shop. We don't need that. Carburetors we're going to get from the tune shop. Uh, crankshaft, you know, I probably could have used it in the other in this build, but I didn't think about it. Um, got cocky and said, oh, I'll, I'll just sell it. Yeah, I'll just buy all brand new, right? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> that's that's what happens. Uh, overhead. Go. Uh, see what else. Oh, we have to make sure we build it we uh, designate the build when we get back in there um 
these head cover A, head cover B, uh, exhaust manifold is going to be from the tune shop, filter from the tune shop, uh, no rollers for this thing. I won't put the fuel tank in here because I will need that. Um, none of this garbage, none of this garbage. All that's going to be from the tune shop. Uh, I'm going to need an oil filter, definitely. Let's get the. Not that one. That one. There you go. Um, oil paint. Got it. Rings. Rings. Yep. That, none of that. That rockers. Rockers. I'm going to need 16 of you guys. A fan that air scoop filters. I'm going to get off from the tune shop as well. Second, then we have serpentine belts. A, there's the B. Oh, wait a minute. A, B. Oh, it's down here. Um, supercharger. That and that gets from the uh, get from the tune shop. Chain, 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 diamond chain cover. Where are you? There we are. Uh, need more of this stuff. Water pump. I'm going to need a water pump. Push rods. Definitely going to need 16 of you guys. Water pump, water pump. Uh, nope. Water pump pulley. Oh, I need the, I need a supercharger water pump pulley. So I need to go back here to the supercharger area. There it is. I need that one. All right. With that, I need the clutch bearing or the throat bearing is what I call it. Boon shop. We need alternator. You know, oh, we're gonna go ahead and get brakes, so we might as well get before these while we're here. Uh am shaft. Am shaft. Am shaft. I've actually been pretty good about this past couple of builds. I've been able to uh get the builds together without having to go back and forth from the shop into the um, catalog, build these things. Uh, you, yep. Shaft, clutch plate. Pressure. Uh, you guys, go ahead and go. Two of you. Headers. It's two of you. Flywheel gotcha covered. All the exhaust pieces. Filter. Pump. Uh, distributor. Cap. Oil. And a rotor. There. And the plug wire. Ones are the wires. Which wires do I need? I think it's these right there. All right. Now we get into the manifold stuff here. Uh, where are you? I don't need that metal. Pistons. Yep. Uh, power steering pump. Yep. So I'll go ahead and grab those. Spark plugs times eight. eight. Filters times two. Supercharger. Supercharger intake. And I think all the pieces I am going to need. So let's go back to the exhaust system here. Let's get the middle muffler. Find them. The rear. Uh, 
are. Okay, so we should have enough here. Build my engine. So let's go ahead. We're going to create a new. And we are going to build this beast right here. That is the beast, right? Let's double check this. Double check. Uh, two carb overhead supercharged. Yes. That is the bad boy we are going to. Build. And we're going to keep it stock colored. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. It already has, it's already going to have some of the um, red accents in it, so I think that'll be nice. I think that's the way we're going to go with this one. Plus, it'll keep, it'll save me a little bit of time, too. Oh, my gosh. These these builds get longer and longer for whatever reason, and part of the main reason is because I'm so damn particular about what I want to build it as. I'll spend, you know, five, ten minutes deciding on a paint color crying out loud but I think I'm gonna go um, with this one the beige is kind of plain but I think it'd be all right might be okay yes you know this time I'm building it from the bottom up um, most engines that I do, I usually do the top end first and then do the bottom. I'm doing everything a little bit different today, boys. Okay, so with that in tow, we've got that, got that. That in there. Oil. Get all on there. Button this up. I don't want nothing to cover this. I want this all covered up. Probably go flipping it up, right? Filter. Belt. Okay. All right. Here. Clutch. Pressure plate. And the throw out there. Done. Rotate you back around where you should be. There we go. I like always, sometimes I get ahead of myself and I don't put the what bolt my Oh, there it is. Duh. All right. Ignition. Uh, the distributor. We need to put this in. Uh, oh, yeah. I do want those yellow. Let's go ahead and paint those yellow. That's the one thing I will paint yellow is my wires and my distributor cap at the top. Um, so let's go ahead and paint those up real quick. It's going to be yellow. Yep, that is the one thing I do want painted on here. Yeah, I notice I do have another banner in here I need to look at to try to change. And I've got the one over by the dyno I need to change too. Oh yeah, and of course I've got this calendar I need to change. Um, so I do have a couple more that I do need to change out, and I, I don't know, I. I I'll do it little by little. I have been doing it little by little. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Frost on here. A lot of chrome on this engine. A lot of aluminum and chrome, which I like on this type of engine. Um, build these pretty easily. I almost build them in my sleep. I built so many of them. And get this side buttoned up here. All the push rods in. I'm lubricated up a little bit. Slide those bad boys right in there. 
Now, if you don't know, if you're not a mechanically inclined, those rods will have holes in them and oil will come up through those rods and lubricate your rocker arms in this area up here inside the head. Just a little fun fact. You have roller, you have different types of rockers, like you have roller, roller rockers and all. Okay, so that is on. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and button up this side real quick before we throw the intake on. And they're gonna want to throw the wires on there, right? Yep, wires. Yeah. Yellow wires. Love it. That's, that's my signature right there, is those yellow wires. And now I'm starting to debate the tan color. I'm starting to debate, debate whether I should keep it the original color or do something else with it. It does have monster truck wheels on it. I may go a little bit bigger with the rim. Like some dunk car. Um, probably not though. I'm going to pay a little bit more respect to the El Camino and not do that to it, I think. Um, let me go on there. Two carbs. Belt. Filter. Filter. Belt. Scoop. And fan. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for our our beastly engine. So we're gonna take this right off the stand. Yeah, I'll tell, I'll tell you, these engines are so easy for me to build. I'm sure you have your particular engine that you like building. And I'd love to hear it. What is your favorite engine to build? I'd love to hear it. Um, these are mine just because it's just the ease factor. For me, you know, it's just the ease factor. That's all it is. So, all right, let's. Uh, what to do now? Let's go ahead and finish up the body work on this, I guess. Um, we got headlights. This big, massive bumper. I'm wondering I'm totally wondering if I need all this massiveness um, those headlights I do like the headlights we're gonna go with them um, hood the massive hood I like that uh, the front bumper the windshield um, I'm not sure about yet. Uh, front door, yes. Uh, trunk, not sure about. Air bumper, tail light, tail light, rear window, front door. Okay, so let's put this stuff in, shall we? Okay, put this stuff in. Um, that fits on there, right? Okay, so we're gonna put those on, and I think what I really want to do, what I really want to do, kind of fix this up into an El Camino look. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and. That. Okay, so let's search. What do we have here? So we have our regular front bumpers, grills, 
Let's see what the regular front bumper would look like. Uh, the window. I'm going to go with the window. Regular window. Um, we got established that big beastly thing. Left tail light, left tail light. What about the right tail light? Uh, actually, we're going to go with those, I think. Uh, clamshell. I'm going to go with that clamshell. Yep. Uh, rear bumper. We'll go with that one. Uh, left rear door. Oh, tailgate, uh, a trunk, trunk E, I don't know, other mirror, okay, so let's see what this looks like, right, so we're going to go with like a, a typical front bumper, we're going to go with the regular tailgate, right, um, Rear clamshell. We are going to go with the roll cage. In. <laughs> we are going to go with the regular mirror and window. It not get. I think what I need to do is take that front end off. Need. Put those. Actually, what I want to do is put take that off. It does it. There we go. <laughs> um, front bumper. We do have a front bumper. I don't know if I like that or not. I think I'm going to take those out. Not a big fan, actually. I thought I would. I thought I would like it, but yeah, not. Um, not that I. I don't think I do. Ah, come on, Doofus. We're gonna have like a regular, regular El Camino look. Not nothing Baja-ish by no, by no stretch of the imagination. Um, no windshield at. I get a regular windshield. Go. And there we go. I think the tan looks pretty cool on it. I may stick with it. I think I just may stick with it. So if I do that though, underneath needs to be um, a little snazzy. So, let's see here. I have all the pieces of the body, the body, 90% frames. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, not so much, but yeah, okay. All right, let's lift this bad boy in the air. And this is what we're going to do. We are definitely going to... Something with like this. We have muffler, muffler, muffler. We got all that taken care of, right? Um, up front, we have, and it's rusty. Let's see. So we need, of course, we need cross pipe transmission. So let's go ahead and jump in there. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, box. Back. Tune shop. I'm sure this stuff is in there. Two of those. Right. And. Oh, I need a starter. We're getting this all kind of lined up here. 
here, electronics, and get started. Here we go. And install. So while I'm thinking about it, let's jump into here, here. All right. These drums back here. These are drums back here, and I bought two. And not what I wanted, but that's okay. I thought I had. I thought I had disc all the way around. Guess I'm not. Okay. All right. Oh, both those are in bad shape. Example of what I need to put on this thing, so you've got to stick around. All right, drum brakes. Eight drum brakes. This brakes are so much nicer. While we're pushing. Looks like we've exhaust system going through the rear axle here. Okay. So, um, what am I going to do? Oh man, I can't play this fire. That was my collision. All right. Um, we are going to go to the, we are going to go to the paint shop. So let's go ahead and hit over here real quick. Move the mic a little bit closer to my mouth. Maybe you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, all right, here we go. Need suspension stuff. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and sell that. Two of these because I'm not going to need those. Two of you. Two of you. Two of you. Two. Four. One. Two. Four of those. A two of you and two of you. Yeah, that works. All right. With that in mind, uh, let's sell off all the parts that I don't need. Go. Oh. Sell that off too. I don't need that. Um, let's start building rear end. Bumper, windshield, trunk, bumper, front brake. Thank you very much. Two's two. One thing I like the um, the QOL mod. I am I am using a QOL mod, so please be aware of that. Um, because I'm using it, what happens is if you buy the part, it disappears from your list. It's an awesome, awesome um, addition to the game. With that mod now I like I said I feel like that was should have been something that should have came with the game in the very in the very beginning um, so you guys moderate or the um, developers over there at red dot eat it <laughs> this is a beautiful thing um, we don't have nothing left in there so we're gonna paint so I'm leaving the drums okay I'm leaving all that okay I am gonna paint Rear end red because if I'm going to stick with the. Well, wait a minute. Ah. Uh, kind of went with an orange with my tow truck. Um, another good color that would go with a tan. You go with a brown. You go with an orange. Orange would look pretty good underneath there. Yeah, we'll go orange. Change it up a little bit, shall we? Come on. Can't keep painting everything red. Um, I'm going to keep... Uh, we'll go ahead and paint those orange as well. I'm not going to mess with the metal-y. Just going to leave it as is. Give it that metal look. 
Um, oh, I need shocks. I don't think I got any shocks. No B shocks. Um, yeah, I don't think I got any shocks. Let's go through here. I think they're bees. Two of them. Let's go ahead and paint them. And, and yes, I am going to go with a, a reddish orange. Hmm. That look interesting. But I'm going to stick with the plain old white. I know, I'm boring, right? Um... Okay, so I think that'll do it. The rear end. Take a look out here. This 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 tannish butternut yellow. Um, yeah, I do like I do like that kind of color. So I think we are going to keep it. Right, so that's that. All these pieces. Looking nice. I don't want to over. Just over um, color the rear end. You know what I mean? I I, I think the aluminum look is sufficient for a lot of what we're doing here. I don't need to paint all the pieces. And I'm not even going to paint the drum this time around. I don't think I need to. It's going to be, it's actually going to be hidden. Um, I have to figure out a wheel to put on here. And that's another thing I have not put my finger on right now. Um, I think I probably will go with something a little bit different. I always try to do something a little bit different. This El Camino, it's going to be... No different. Try to do something. Uh, no different. Do something different. That sounds weird, doesn't it? All right. All that is all connected up. Ooh, this is looking like a beauty. This is looking like a beauty here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, I got caught up behind there. All right. Let's clear out the. Oh, wait a minute. I did not do that piece. Um. Interesting. That piece. As soon as I see that the wheel goes on, we shouldn't be able to put the wheel on with these pieces out. Okay. So now let's take a look at my okay, inventory is good to go. Yeah. Okay. We are good. All right. Let's start tearing this front end down. This thing is in horrible, horrible shape. I'm surprised. Man, there's not even a bearing in that. That's that's surprising. Usually, even though how bad it is, there's always a bearing. So that's kind of a shocker. No shock absorber on this side. Ah, no bushings. Man. Things in rough shape over here. Raptor tires on it. I probably will stick with the same sizing. Um, just because I think it does look pretty good the way it's set up. And I believe this is a Dead Bob 777 mod as well. So if you get a chance at the workshop and download this bad boy, you will not regret it. The track version is also really, really awesome. I like it. Uh... Shock absorbers out. At least I have enough pieces here to know that. Oh, I can't get here. Ah. There is no. There's the steering rack right there. Ah, that needs to be me that's messed up. That's messed up. That needs a change. That needs to go over. Ah, oh well. Ah. 
All right. Did you see the way that was set up? That's that's not right. That's that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. I. I'd go in and change it, but it would just change back on me overnight. So I'm not even this freaking welder. Get it out of here. Um, so I'm not going to even bother. Um, but yeah, that's that's all wrong. That should be changed out just a, just differently. It should be different. Um, so name. Man, that that's that's gonna bug the heck out of me. All right. So the steering rack was up here, and that's where the tie rod should be. So the front end needs to be changed on it. Um. Well, I would like I said I'd do it right now, but it it's not gonna matter because it's just gonna revert back later. All right, two A arms down. Uh, brake caliper. Yes, two of you, please. Thank you very much. Cylinders, two. Uh, pads, of course. Else. Okay, he's done. One of those. 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 Ooh. Uh, we need 12 of you. And two bearings. Two wheel caps. All right. With that, let's go over here to the paint shop. Let's uh, rid myself of anything I don't need. Go. Get rid of that too. All right, time to do some painting. Uh, I'm leaving the A arms. I want to go with the up. That one I will mess with the. Uh, doesn't even. Yeah, that's doesn't even matter. Okay. Really, really doesn't matter. I'd love to get it a little brighter, but that's okay. That as it is. Uh, upper and lower A arms, I'm going to keep. Uh, front cross member, definitely going to get the job. Um, and I think that's it for the front end, I believe. I believe that's all I want to paint. All right, so let's get uh, back into here. Need you, you, and get these paint up real quick. Yes, I'm painting them white. Springs are going yellow. There we go. Almost lost it there for a minute. Kind of threw me into the other shop, didn't it? <laughs> That's what the QOL mod will do to you from time to time. It will it will throw you around. Okay, so got that. And we got one more spring, and we are out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. We're not painting too much of the front end. Well, you know what? Screw it. It's only money, right? Go ahead and paint the rear the front end. Paint those. Uh, paint those. It's kind of like a nice color underneath with the beige on top and the orange underneath. Accents of red throughout the engine compartment. Now that's getting painted. Now that's getting painted. Oh, here we go. Uppers need to get 
painted. And now that will be the end of it right there. Here we go. Done. All right. Go put together this mediocre front end. All right. Very disappointed in this, to be honest with you. I so want to fix this. Um. You just need to change. This needs to be changed. So this cross member here needs to be changed. Um, so it matches up with that. But I'm not going to screw with it right now. Hopefully Dead Bob will watch this video and, and see what needs to be taken care of. And do a quick, do a quick uh, edit to it. Not really a big deal, but yeah, I, kn I see that it's there. It's kind of messed up. All right. Um, those taken care of. in slotted discs A beautiful thing i'm so happy they brought those into this into this uh into this game i love it Actually, painting all those pieces do, does make it look pretty good underneath here. I have to admit. I wasn't going to do it, but yeah. I think it does give it a little splash of color underneath there. Make it look good. Considering I didn't paint the engine block, I think that's even better. What I wish is the, the red areas on the tuning parts would be the only piece painted. I don't mind the chrome. I'd love to keep them chrome, but I would love to see those pieces maintained. Um, just to keep the color. Okay, so we've got 92. The uh, interior is shot. We don't have anything on the interior. Um, so that's before we decide on wheels and tires. Take a look at our interior. Interior's in sad shape. Shop. Hang on. We got a seat Atlanta, eh? Okay. So we're gonna go seat Atlanta. We're gonna buy two of those bad boys. Then we are going to So a nice steering wheel here, of course, the only steering wheel, <laughs> the only one I use all the time. My God, find it. Uh, oh, we're done with that. Interior, add. Let's see. You know what? Hang on. Take these out. I know what I want to put in here. I want to put I want to put our racing ones. Uh, these right here. That's fabric. I want leather. I want two of you. All right. Now I want to paint or dye. I guess I want to dye the. Um, seat. So, paint normal color. 
Um, paint everything? No, I just want paint target. No, I want the interior. Paint. Let's right. Kind of a tan color that it was. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Pick the other seat up. Darker tannish color. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. It's a little darker than what we have on the outside. That's okay. Yeah. I could have gotten a little bit lighter on that, I think. But uh, I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty damn good. All right. Wheels and tires. Um, okay. Just quick note here. Parts. Hmm. What do I need here? I think it's just the wheels and tires. Uh, rims. Front and rear license plate. Really? <sighs> Didn't want to put a license plate. I have to get uh, I'll make some more of these up. All right. So what do we have for wheels and tires here? Let's go ahead and sell off these bad boys. Um, we are looking at 16s on this. Uh, OK, I'll do that. 55s. OK, I will deal with that, too. Um, 315s. I think I'm going to go with that. 315, 55, 16s, and what tires are those? Let me unmount one of these. This beast. Okay, so what I have here is the off road tire. Uh, 315, 55, 15. Uh, 305, um, can, yeah, 315, Whew. man, I'm really losing it. We're going to do a 315, five. I think we'll even go a little bit wider. Let's see if we go, we'll go a little bit um all right rims this is the difficult portion of the entire show the entire video is going to be based on that what freaking rims am i going to put on this thing um because i'm here to tell you it's always a struggle with me to put the right rim on it i really want the right rim um Choices are always limited. Um, did have a couple in mind. Like the Avalanche ones look kind of horrible here, but they don't look too bad on a vehicle. Um, these Rim Classic 11s don't look too bad on a vehicle. They don't look bad. They don't look great here. They don't look too bad on a vehicle. Um, some of these you can't paint, so that that kind of sucks. And I did think about going with a set of these uh, these right here with the deep dish. I like the deep dish look, and if I could have painted those, these would be what I would want to put on there if I could paint them. But I don't think I can paint that. Um. Uh, let's go see real quick with the um, 
Jewel Oil mod, maybe I can paint them now. Let's take a look. If I can chrome these, I will be ecstatic. Okay, so here. Okay, so what I want to do is paint everything. Oh, snap. I think I've just got... Oh, my. Oh, my. Um, oh, my. I think I found my wheel. The, that is the deep dish. I, I, that's what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. Um, okay, so let's back here. Um, we want the deep dish. I want three more of these at 16. I'm going to paint these bad boys up. Everything. Oh yeah, I think this will look all right. I have to make sure it looks okay on the, on the El Camino, of course. Everything mixed. No. It's two. Yeah, paint everything. I think that's pretty close to a chrome. Not really giving me a chrome look here. Um, that's okay. I think that will work. Actually, I think that will work. Paint everything. Yes. I am so flipping happy. I am so. F I've wanted to use these wheels for so long, and I dislike the brass look on them. Here we go. This is gonna. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Rotten. Don't I have wheels? Did I not buy wheels? I did not buy those, did I? Okay, so let's... I did four... Four of you. Sixteen. It was a 315, I went 325. Right? Okay, that one stayed. I think it like it, when you paint some of this stuff, it kind of gets goofy. So you have to keep an eye on it. Hopefully this works out. Ooh, 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 ooh. I am so flipping happy. I love the deep dish look of these things. street tires on it. <laughs> I look really goofy. You know, when I, I got tires for my, my... I had a 2002 Chevy pickup and um, the guy was like, what tires did I, did I want to put on it, right? And, you know, most people put like these several ply truck tires. And I, I, I saw a set of tires and I was like, I want these... I want these uh, BFGs, but, uh, no, you have good rich ones. He's like, um, sir, those are for uh, an SUV. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I was looking for something with a little less road noise. I'm not off roading in my truck, you know, I'm not doing an off road thing. So, um, yeah, so he was like, well, okay, you're the customer. Those things wore nice. That's like a little. That looks white on there, but oh well. I wish it would stayed color. That's okay. Oh man, I like the way those rims look on there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's put you all the way down. Now I didn't do the whole off road on package on this. I you know, um, you guys are probably gonna hate me for it, but I actually I kind of like it. Um, 
Let's see, it should be just, yeah, 69% because I don't have the front license plate on it. Um, oh yeah, with these big wheels, we need a definite alignment on it. Um, I've only one, owned one vehicle in my life that was lifted, and that was a 78 Blazer. Um, had a 4-inch lift, 33-inch tires on it. Um, you know, it is it's one of those things, if you want to play, you're going to pay. No lie. Um, I've broke that truck so many different ways. Uh, it was sad. I really mistreated, mistreated that truck. But, uh, all right. I think I am going to stick with that color. I really do. I, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think I'm just, I think it's, I think it's worthwhile. Uh, do I paint the whole thing? Yeah. All right. So let's go, let's take a look at this. Okay. Let's go gloss solid. So with the metallic, you kind of get that gold look, right? You kind of get that um, old Chevelle classic look, actually. Man. Um, but it's like, I, it's, it's like one of those looks I really didn't like. Uh, oh, no. Million, no. That chrome. So we're just going to keep it that way. I think that's going to be good. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. What do we have? And I always forget to try to look for it. I don't know if there's any livery. Got some white stripes on it. Black stripes? Solid stripes. Oh, no, no. Um. Stripes. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the black stripes. Yeah, we're going with the black stripes. Yes, it needs something. It was either that or I take the hood off and painted it a different color. And, you know, I don't know. I just I'm not into it. Let's go ahead, take it over to the dino shop. Um, and before we do anything, I already know. I already know. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. What the fuck? I realized it when I said, oh, let's go to the dino shop. I'm thinking, crap, I didn't fill the fluids. Um... That's done. Our steering. Lint. Break reservoir. So with the orange underneath here and with the tan color, I really think it actually looks really good in my opinion. I, I think I'm very happy that I kind of went with, see that in there? Um, very happy. That almost looks chrome in here. Um, okay. Have, oh, I do have, I don't have tuning carburetors don't think no ECUs I do have okay so let's take this um never get this bad boy Two, two, and one. So I'm going to apply that. Um, I know there's a trick to it. Uh, but I don't remember. <laughs> uh, it's just flat out zeros right there. I don't want that. Uh, so 
So if I go up, those two go down. I go down. That was pretty much all neutral right there. Oof. All right. I, 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 even though, you know, I like the idea of this tuning, I really despise it at this point. Um, oh, look at that. Why that? Wish I could figure it out for that one, but we're, that's, that's close enough. We're, we're good. All right, let's, uh, you know what I did. <laughs> All right, let's kick it off and see what we get. Six horsepower out of it. Almost 900 horsepower, but 1200 pounds of torque. That would be cool. It's an A class, a low A class, actually. This thing probably wouldn't do well on the track. That's okay. I'm not taking her out there. Uh, trust me. All right, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please uh, consider hitting that thumbs up down there, and that like button. All right, so there we have it nice El Camino off-road version kind of did the front end in the orange color uh, kept the uh, car in a beige we did the seats in a beigey yellow color uh, and we reverted it back from a Baja looking vehicle back into a um, an El Camino that does have the roll cage in it and we definitely need a roll cage for this beast so now the option is yours do I save it or do I sell it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I look forward to your comments. Guys, thanks for hanging with me. I certainly appreciate it. I love all the subscribers. Thanks for hanging. And again, put your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Discord channel. Until next time, Sir Quasar is saying good night, everyone. And I am out.